Meanwhile, rent prices are still going up, but not as fast as they have been. So when it comes to the cost of living, has a Sunshine State outpaced other big cities? 10 Tampa Bay anchor Joshua Dorwitz is here to verify. We talked about the numbers showing a lot of people, notably from places like New York, have moved down here since the pandemic. Uh, but some people, like Democratic gubernatorial candidate Charlie Crist, have gone so far as to say it now costs more to live here in Florida's major cities than it does to say live in New York City. Well, not quite. Here's our sources on this, including data from Realtor.com and the Florida Realtors Association. Yes, the cost of living has skyrocketed from Miami to Tampa. Median rent in Tampa Bay is up 22% compared to the same time last year to more than two grand a month. Similar stories in Jacksonville and Orlando. And then there's South Florida, where median rent is up a whopping 45%. But even at $2,800 a month in Miami, that still lags behind New York, where median rent is north of three grand. By any measure, Florida remains a much more affordable place. When you look at rent in New York City, when you look at the cost of living in New York City. So no, it does not cost more to live in Florida than in New York. But here's where we are beating out the Big Apple. Shelton Weeks with Florida Gulf Coast University, along with researchers from Florida Atlantic and the University of Alabama, have been tracking prices to determine where renters and buyers are paying more than they should be based on historical trends. When you look at Florida, um, you know, the, the number of cities just sort of jumps off the page at you. Eight of the 15 most overvalued cities in America right now are in Florida, with Miami and Tampa Bay cracking the top five. So when we have surges in demand, particularly like what we've seen in Florida over the last 24 to 36 months, you have to have a strong price reaction because it's, it's going to take supply some time to catch up. And he says he expects rent prices to remain higher for a while, even as home prices are starting to cool off because rising mortgage rates will likely make it harder for more renters to make the jump to home ownership.